Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the WordPress onto the Google Cloud for completely free. And so this is the result of that. Uh, so as you can see right now, we have this page, this uh, built with the uh, WordPress. Um, so you can see this is the theme that I'm using right now. And um, also with this uh, right here, the, we will also look into how to connect IP address uh, the normal um, IP address to uh, link to this uh, domain name and in this video uh, you also learn uh, how to do that as well and the next thing is that uh, by default it's not going to be like uh, SSL and right here we also learn how to do the configuration uh, to convert this uh, from HTTP to HTTPS uh, with this uh, free uh, SSL certificate. Uh, so in this case, we are using the let encrypts, and we will look into how to do that in this video. And not only that, um, we also learn how to uh, install a plugin. It's called um, Simple uh, SSL. So what it does is try to convert whatever that you have. So in case sometime you try to import an image from somewhere else with the HTTP, not HTTPS. So with the plugin, it try to uh, convert automatically from HTTP to HTTPS. So uh, the website, you no longer need to worry that uh, it's going to be some uh, images are uh, coming from the not secure site, which is HTTP. And um, we use that plugin to try to convert it into like fully HTTPS uh, or fully H uh, SSL uh, certificate enable. And uh, we also learn how to uh, change the themes. Uh, the theme by default it's look uh, not as good as this one and uh, we learn how to import that one and not only that we also learn how to import the existing uh, template uh, so just for the demo and right here let me just navigate to the page to show you real quick so this page right here and uh, this will speed up a lot of process but uh, this is for a demo uh, you would not be able to see this one uh, until i try to publish it uh, to the public so what i can do i just uh, click on this um, uh, edit with the elementor plugin and then i try to publish the page so that you can just see it publicly and that's uh, something that we are going to look into how to do in this uh, tutorial and without further ado let's get started all right, to deploy WordPress on Google Cloud, first you need to go to this link, cloud.google.com. And then you can just click on this button right here, the consult, or it can be here as well. So now um, I'm going to click on top here and it will log in um, to your Google uh, Gmail account. So right here, since I have uh, my other projects, uh, I'm going to create a new one. So just click on top here, new project to create a new project. And here I can just um, give a project a name. So in this case, uh, I'm going to call it as um, Hong Li uh, Tech, which is my project name. And it says that uh, this cannot be changed later for the uh, project ID. So this is the project ID and the organization I can just leave it as it is. And then I can just click on this uh, create button right here. So I think um, for the project name, I can just uh, have uh, a space in between. It's better uh, than just like put it all in once. So um, this will be my project name, uh, Hongli Tech, and this is the project ID. Now I can just click on the create button. Right here, it says uh, it's creating the project with this name. All right, so now um, it's already finished. And right here, I just need to switch to the new projects, which is only tagged. Okay, so now we have uh, our own uh, new projects. Uh, it's called um, project name uh, right here, and this is the project ID, and also with the project number as well. So uh, right now, to uh, deploy WordPress to um, Google Cloud on Google Cloud right here, uh, you need to go to the marketplace. And if you notice, you can see up there as well. Uh, so it says the tr uh, free trial status right now. I can uh, actually get the $500 credit and it is now uh, with 315 days remaining. But if you uh, start this project, like sign in into uh, Google Cloud for the first time, the remaining uh, days would be 365, which is uh, last for one year. Uh, you would be able to get like uh, 300 
and if you want to actually like explore more product uh, Google Cloud product then you can just click on activate and uh, try to fill out all of your credit uh, information then uh, you will be able to spend it for a whole one year for free now uh, in this tutorial I'm not going to do that um, right now let's just have, take a look on how uh, we install the uh, WordPress so here when I scroll down you can see that the virtual machine right here it says uh, right here the WordPress uh, this is uh, from Google Google click to deploy so now let me just uh, open this one in the uh, new tab right here and now let me just uh, scroll down a little bit more and see if we can find another uh, WordPress so right here um, under the block and CMS you can see that this is also a, another WordPress, but this one is certified by uh, Bitnami and Automatic. So uh, I'm going to also uh, open this one in a new tab as well. So yep, you can see that there's a lot here and uh, we can also search for the solution right here as well. So now let's just uh, take a look at the first two I just opened. All right, so now let's just take a look at the WordPress from Google, the click uh, Google click to deploy and here you can see that um, right here if I'm going to choose to install this I click on launch uh, you will see that uh, this package uh, basically it install all of this so in cloud Apache uh, Google uh, with the uh, all of the information uh, WordPress uh, PHP my admin and this is from Google and this is the total price uh, for approximately uh, this amount per month and now let's just take a look at the other one which is this one uh, certified by Bitnami and Automatic um, right here for the package uh, contents you can see that uh, we can actually have more option uh, right here it also uh, include like uh, XUlite and more and uh, for the um, amount that you're going to pay per month which is uh, approximately the same amount as the one from Google now uh, I'm going to show you which one I'm going to choose between these two uh, whether uh, this one is better or Google uh, click to deploy is, is better uh, now let's just uh, open this one uh, this tab right here you can see that this is the Bitnami uh, versus uh, click to deploy and now let's just uh, see which one we're going to choose um, here you can see uh, this one it says uh, which version suit I choose and here they do the comparison between the two um, so you can see the Bitnami uh, it contain like more uh, compared to the click to deploy and right here you can see for the uh, Bitnami stack uh, it contain the XUlite uh, with this uh, one ish uh, open SSL I won't go in detail uh, into each one of this and uh, just get a like an overview of what uh, which one is better uh, in uh, specifically in this tutorial so you can see that uh, for the accessing the uh, PHP by admin uh, we can um, accessible or locally we are the SSL tunnel and right here uh, it say that require additional work uh, like to config but then uh, it's provide an extra uh, layer of security for your website so this is the benefit of using the uh, Bitnami version and for the click to deploy uh, it accessible directly uh, from your domain by default and the thing is that um, this will leave the website uh, more vulnerable to the brute force attacks so uh, comparing between the uh, security uh, Bitnami version is uh, better right here so our uh, next one here the configuring the WordPress setting um, again um, this is uh, between the two you can see that uh, here for the um, the Bitnami uh, editing from the front end is disabled uh, you need to do like basically the configurations on how to do that but for the click to deploy version we can just do it straight away from the uh, WordPress general setting so right here in this case uh, you can see that the WordPress uh, URL so say if uh, at first it start with the uh, HTTP but then we can just change directly to uh, HTTPS with the Google click to deploy but for the uh, Bitnami we can just do uh, something like for the configuration with the file right here and um, I'll uh, show you as well but uh, perhaps not in this video but let's see and uh, here next one are the default pricing you can see um, the price for so for the uh, this article right here um, 
it says that the click to deploy is a little bit uh, more expensive compared to this one but um, yep uh, right here the final sort uh, we both think that it's suitable for deploying on the Google Pro but uh, they uh, the configure uh, of course different and why choose the Bitnami so Bitnami uh, basically provide us more um, options to configure our WordPress and for the um, click to deploy it's limited but it's e a lot easier compared to just use the Bitnami one and everything just set up for you so if you are new to Google Cloud and looking for a simple option for deploying your WordPress website then we can just choose the click to deploy but over time it requires you to configure your website uh, as the uh, back-end growth and for the uh, great ambition your WordPress website want to uh, do all of this then choose the uh, WordPress uh, with the Bitnami however this option a lot uh, require uh, more time investment to learn how to configure your site from the uh, back end so um, see what else did I missed so um, right here if you are new to Google looking for simple yep the same one as we do and if you uh, want to have like a full uh, power of cloud uh, for the WordPress website then uh, we don't mind also the learning curve then just choose the Bitnami option so um, after reading this article I think that I'm going to go with the Bitnami because we have more options uh, to configure our WordPress so I'm gonna go with this one and now let's just go back and just see what else that uh, they have right here when I try to search for the word uh, WordPress all right so when I try to search for the word WordPress um, you can see that the result comes with uh, 47 and right here the first one is say this one it's it's different from the one that uh, we just looked into uh, this one is open light speed WordPress and uh, they got a lot more here as you can see that and um, right here this is uh, from uh, Google uh, the one that we just looked into and this is the uh, the one from the Bitnami but when you try to um, actually when it when we notice you can see that the Bitnami one it has different version as well not only one so um, right here for all of this I'm going to go with the Bitnami like I said so I'm going to search uh, WordPress Bitnami and here we can see that we have four options, uh, four results. So this one comes with the multi-site. This is the multi-tier. Uh, this is the uh, certified by Bitnami. And this is with the uh, engine and SSL. So um, which one are we going to choose between these four? So I have uh, another article open as well. So here uh, you can see that it uh, coming from the uh, Bitnami uh, official website. So this uh, compare the different Bitnami and the automatic um, WordPress solutions. And right here you can see that uh, we have four options uh, for option to choose. So this one coming from the certified, this is ideal for the personal sites and also testing environment. It include all of the, uh, the four features. But for the other one right here, this come with the different domain uh, if you have like a uh, multiple domains then choose this one the multi size controlled by a unique uh, administrator and next one the nginx and ssl certified by the bitnami this is the right choice for dealing with the high number of connections so let's say if you have a lot of connection for the website then uh, choose this one otherwise uh, right here this is the multi-tier uh, design for the high uh, demand environment this will run on multiple uh, virtual machines to improve the capability and also security and um, for the demonstration I'm going to choose the first one right here for the personal sites and testing environment then um, this one should be good enough so um, here I'm going to choose the uh, third one right here, the Bitnami certified by uh, uh, WordPress certified by Bitnami. I think let me just um, quickly uh, show you the difference between the uh, Bitnami uh, normal one with the Nginx. So uh, what are the difference? I uh, just want to have a quick look into the con uh, packet contents. 
All right, so just have a quick look again. Uh, the uh, are all the package uh, contents. Um, this will install the Apache, while the other one for the uh, Nginx. So right here, the difference is that this one it install the Nginx uh, open source, while this one right here it going to install the uh, Apache. So that's uh, the difference. And now let's just uh, quickly click on the launch to install this uh, WordPress. And you can see that the configuring this may take a few minutes. All right, so after waiting for a few minutes, uh, we can now see uh, this screen. So right here, um, let me just close uh, some of the tab right here. And um, now before we get into all of this uh, configuration, first we just need to look into this one right here. So it's a, um, this page, uh, the Google Cloud uh, free tier. Uh, we can see that for the 12 uh, month uh, free trial, we can get like $300 uh, credit. But in this case, you can see that I have like $500 uh, because uh, here this is uh, perhaps in uh, Australian currency. And now let me just uh, scroll down. So right here, you can see that um, the all the way free, which provide limited access to the uh, many common like Google Cloud resources and free of charge. Now let's just uh, scroll down to see the free forever option. And this is like explaining what happened when try to uh, or finish the free trial. And right here, the all the way freeze. So um, let, let me just scroll down to see those options. Okay, so right here, so you can see that the uh, it's all the way free is available in this um, uh, location. In these regions right here, US West, US East, and US uh, Central one, and right here um, again, like like I said, uh, we are going to use the uh, F1 Micro uh, Visual Machine uh, instance per month, which one of the following. So uh, this also include the 30 gig month uh, HHD for the storage, and right here for the snapshot uh, should be fine for now. Okay, so um, right here, I'm going to go with the. Uh, F1 uh, micro instance. All right, so now let's just go back and the deployment name. Um, I'm just gonna uh, name it as WordPress. Should be fine. And then right here, um, the US West. So you can see for the US West one, uh, we have like uh, three options right here. So uh, any of this would be fine. Um, I'm going to just choose the first one right here, US West one B. And the machine type, uh, like I just showed you previously, we will go with the uh, micro, which uh, come with the 0 0.6 memory. So this means that it's around uh, 600 uh, megabyte uh, for the memory. Just choose this one right here. You can see the price also changed to uh, five thirteen dollars per month. And for the disk, uh, we can just go with the standard one. And the maximum is uh, 30 gig for free. So I'm going to just go with this uh, minimum size, which is 10 to be fine for now. And just uh, make sure to also select this, allow the HTTP traffic from the internet, also with the HTTPS traffic from the internet as well. So once we're done, we can just click on the deploy button. So if you uh, can see that, um, so I say it's around $5.13 per month, but why is it going to be like free forever? The reason is that as long as we are using within this uh, instance, it will be free. But if uh, we are go over that, so right here you can see that you're always a free F1 micro instance uh, limit by uh, time. It's not by instance. So each month, uh, the eligible to use all of your F1 instances is free until you have used a number of hours equal to the total uh, hour in the current month. So as long as we are using within this, then uh, it should be good to go. It will be free forever. And in case that, uh, say, if your website uh, coming are uh, going to gain a lot of like visitors per month, then um, this option should not be ideal. And you can just, what you can do, you can just uh, try to upgrade yours. Uh, say in this case, uh, it should not be like the same one I just used with the, uh, right here, the uh, micro instant F1. You can just upgrade to something else. So um, that's how it works. If not, uh, if say you have like only uh, limited visitor, 
uh, visiting your website per month then uh, this would be fine for now so um, right now I'm just gonna go back and right here WordPress is now being deployed uh, it's try to install all of this so right here you can see with the uh, installing the instance also with the uh, configurations and firewall and stuff right here you can see so I, I will wait until this finish and then we can just continue uh, working on this all right after waiting for a few uh, minutes uh, everything's all done uh, what I need to go right now, um, I can just click, uh, right click on this and open in a new tab and as well as this one as well. So this, uh, the admin user right here, this is the username and also with the admin password, this is a temporary one that it gave. So I'm going to uh, copy this one. Now let's just go back and see uh, what we get right here. All right, um, so when I try to click on that, nothing happened, but I can just click on this to see if we have the uh, WordPress already deployed on the Google Cloud. All right, so here you can see that this is the Google Cloud, um, uh, basically the uh, WordPress running on Google Cloud. And right here, it comes with the blank uh, template, as nothing at all, as you can see. And this is the, uh, right here, this is the other one. So um, let me just click on this one as well. So here you can see that this is the login screen and I can just go with the username. So uh, the username is user and then uh, the password that I just uh, copy uh, a minute ago and can just click on the uh, remember me and click on the login button to log in into the uh, back end. So basically this is uh, what's behind WordPress and uh, you can see that uh, we got everything right here. So what I'm going to do for now, I just click on the uh, old post. And right here, you can see that for the old post, um, we have the uh, hello world, which is this one right here. Uh, it come by default. I just need to create like a new post to see if it's working. All right, just click next. Just an introduction. Right here, I'm going to say, welcome to my YouTube channel. And then uh, for the blog right here, just say it's created by Hong Lee. And we can just click on the publish. All right, so um, here we also got a link as well. And I can also click on the view post. So clicking on the view post, you can see that here is the one that I just created. Uh, welcome to my channel. And the content is just uh, created by Hong Lee. So um, right here you can see that there's a bar. The reason is that because we have already logged in into this. That's why we're seeing this. Um, so I'm going to also show you when what happened when I try to copy this. And then uh, just open it in the uh, incognito uh, window all right so this is working fine and uh, I can just click go to go back and here this is the previous one and this is the uh, newly created one right here so this is working fine but uh, one thing is that when you see the URL right here you can see that this URL is like uh, something that it's hard for the user to um, actually remember and try to type all of this uh, so in this tutorial, I also create or uh, buy a new domain. So right now, let's just have a look on what a domain that I buy. Uh, so I'll just have a quick look within that video.
Okay, so um, there's one thing to note as well. So uh, you can see the IP address right here. Uh, so by default, it's not um, static. It's like uh, dynamic. Every time that you try to uh, restart your instance, the VM instance, then it will change uh, this IP address. So we need to reserve this uh, IP address to become like a static one. Uh, to do that, just uh, go back right here. Let me just close this one as well. So um, just go to the, click on the navigation menu. Now let's just scroll down to the section where it says the, um, right here, the VPC uh, network and select on the external IP addresses. All right, so here you can see that uh, the type right here by default is set to the ephemeral. Now we can just click or change to the uh, static one. And also here we need to also give a name as well. I'm going to give mine as, like I said right here, uh, Hongli text description should be fine. Just uh, click on the reserve. It's not creating the address for Hongli text. All right, so it successfully created a address for this, and now we have this uh, already reserved. And right now, uh, say if you go to this uh, external IP address, you should also see this uh, website right here as well. And um, now what I need to do next is to uh, open up my uh, new domain. We are going to link uh, this uh, external uh, address to the uh, real domain name that I just purchased. All right, so I have my domain board uh, at the name chips as seen here. And now uh, what I need to do uh, before trying to do the configuration on this uh, domain name. Now let's just go back here for now. And what I need to do again, just click on the uh, navigation menu. We need to look for the network services. So right here and click on the uh, cloud DNS. So to be able to point this uh, domain name to the uh, for the static IP address right here to the domain name, first we need to do some configuration with the DNS. So um, Google Cloud also provides us to do that by going to the network services and like I said, this one right here, the DNS zones. Uh, right now, we can just click on the create zone button and public, just set it as public uh, like that uh, to be able to discover by uh, the others. And the zone name, uh, we can just give the zone name whatever we want. I'm going to give mine as a Hongli tag. And right here, the uh, similar to the previous one, Hongli uh, tag.com. And for the security, just turn it off for now. If you turn it on, then uh, there's some will be some like issue with the DNS. It might take a lot uh, more time. So I'm gonna just uh, turn this off for now. Description is optional. Then uh, just click on the creating, uh, create button, and it's creating. All right. So very quick, uh, you can see that uh, right here we got our uh, domain uh, DNS. So um, right here, what I can do, just click on uh, select this and then copy it. Other than that, it's the same. Just uh, this is number one, two, three, four. Now let's just go back here and then uh, just click on the manage uh, this domain, the new one, the honglitech.com. It's loading. All right, so as you can see, um, right now uh, it's all fully loaded. And if you can see why the reason that I choose namespace, because uh, for the namespace, it comes with the protection. So uh, the protection right here, say if um, you don't have the protection, uh, the data protection, then um, anybody can just uh, look for the uh, WHP to look for the information. And then they can just like uh, get all of your information like address, email, and everything including your name as well. So um, it's not ideal to have your um, data uh, to be discovered by the others out there. And uh, it's very important to have like the protection. So for the name chip, it comes with this protection. It's for free forever. And that's a reason why I choose this. And also this is uh, quite popular as well for name chip. And a lot of people have used uh, name chip so far uh, compared to, um, I'm not gonna say for the other services, 
but uh, this one it comes with the uh, free protection forever like the data protection and um, for the others you have to pay for that service it's completely different so say if yours is like um, 10 or 20 dollars for the domain and then you need to pay separately for this one as well but for Namecheap it's completely free and if you um, also want to try to uh, basically try to register then uh, perhaps I put a link in the description you can just check that and right here this is the status uh, it become active and what I need to do I need to go to this uh, name server right here so this come with the name chip basic uh, DNS we are not going to do that we are going to config the uh, DNS uh, right here so uh, right here I just copy this one we just need to place this to be able to connect this domain with the uh, Google Cloud right here okay so uh, I paste it here and also for the second one so just change the number to three and last one here to four so that should be good to go now just save all right so it says that uh, it might take a while but uh, let's see uh, how long we're going to take uh, to finish this one all right so after adding the custom dns uh, now let's just go back and we need to add a new record set so add that and then uh, and right here for the DNS name, just leave it as it is. And then uh, the record um, name right here, uh, pre-select by the A, um, should be fine. For the IP addresses right here, we need to copy the one that we uh, just reserved the static IP address. Just, uh, we don't need to do, we don't need to have this. Just uh, only the IP uh, address. Okay, so once that's done, click on this uh, create. Now we have uh, create a new uh, record. Um, we need to create another one. Uh, right here, I'm going to just uh, DNS www dot, and right here the uh, resource type. I uh, just choose the C name, and for the current call name, just click on this and then type my uh, new domain name hongleadhack.com. Then click on the create button. Alright, so now that we have our uh, everything set up with the uh, A type and also with the C name and the uh, creating this um, DNS right here from, from the Google uh, Cloud. Also, um, we have configured this one as well with the uh, custom DNS. Uh, in this case, this is the uh, name chip. And um, you can also use uh, other service. The process will be the, uh, the same. Just uh, need to create like uh, adding the custom uh, DNS. And right now, let's just have a quick look when I try to go to this uh, honglytech.com. Uh, I'm going to just uh, right click and go to here and see if you get that. All right, so here you go. Um, you can see that we now successfully link the uh, custom uh, the custom IP address right here to this uh, new domain name uh, right here, the honglytech.com. So when you go to this uh, link, you can also see this website as well. All right, so here we go. This is what we have. And one thing, uh, if you notice, you can see that this is not secure at all. Uh, it says the connection is not secure. And um, I'm going to also show you how to uh, generate SSL certificate for this website as well. So now let's just uh, quickly do that. All right, so to install the uh, free SSL certificate, um, now let's just have a quick look on this article first. So now you can see that uh, the Bitnami has a uh, HTTPS uh, configuration tool uh, right now from uh, this date right here. So release uh, seen this one, uh, the HTTP configuration tool. And now it's a lot easier to just install a, a certificate uh, using the BN cert tool and um, i'm going to show you how to do that one as well and right here just uh, have a look at the other one right here so previously um, there's like a uh, another approach uh, the other workaround uh, using this one right here so we need to type out all of these uh, uh, commands and then with the let's encrypt certificate uh, with the generate from the hash also input like uh, the your mail your domain and www.domain stuff like this but for now we can just use this tool it's a lot simpler to compare to using like the old approach and uh, i'm going to also show you how to do it now let's just uh, go back to this one right here click on the navigation menu and then uh, we can just go to the compute engines 
uh, choose the first one right here, the uh, VM uh, instances. All right, so now uh, we are in here. Uh, let me just zoom out a little bit. All right, so here you can see that uh, we got the uh, SSH right here. We need to connect to that one. And uh, let's just click on this one real quick. And it open up a new uh, browser right here. This will uh, try to connect the, uh, what it does is transferring the SSH key to the VM. It tried to connect to the uh, has, uh, via the SSH. All right, so now we have already um, connected. Uh, let me just try to change the font size. Uh, this is the medium one. All right. Um, let me just navigate to see if we got the tool, the uh, VNSO tool to see if we have the uh, bnsert tool. So to do that, just navigate to that directory. All right, so now we are in here and try to see uh, if we have that. Okay, you can see that here is the uh, bn, uh, not this one here. Yep, it's here, uh, bnsert tool and you can see that we have this option and let now just uh, try to install it. All right, sudo bnsert tool. Okay, so it asked me the, uh, there's an updated version. I'm going to press yes to download it now. To run the uh, update version, run this following command. All right, so um, there's an error with the uh, root privilege. So let me just copy this again, and then uh, just do uh, sudo with this. All right, so here it is. Uh, welcome to Bitnami HTTPS configuration tool. Now uh, we need to just uh, enter the domain uh, list right here. Let me just enter my uh, new domain name, which is honglitech.com. And um, the following domain name was not included in this. And do you want to add them? Yes. And right here it say enable HTTPS to HTTPS direction. Uh, yes. Enable the non WW to uh, WW direction. Um, I think right now, so um, as you can see, just use this as an example. Um, so say right here, this is a non H uh, WWW. Uh, but uh, it asked me whether I want to have this right here. So in this case, it's uh, console.cloud.google.com. Uh, do I actually want to uh, redirect this one right here to uh, www.console.log or uh, .google.com? Or it can be like uh, from the honglitech.com to www.honglitech.com where you can actually see the www uh, right inside this uh, URL right here. So I think I'm not going to do that. I just uh, select no and enable the www to uh, this one right here. So say if I enter www.honglitech.com uh, whether I want to redirect that www. Uh, to the non www dot uh, uh, redirection here. So um, this one I would say yes. And right here, uh, the following change will uh, perform to the Bitnami uh, installation with the stop the server and uh, configuring uh, to use the free uh, less encrypt certificate for the domain, uh, which is honglitech.com, www.honglitech.com. Configuration the job will renew the certificate each month and uh, configure web to this name right here and uh, to enable the HTTP to HTTPS redirection. So for example, right here, redirect the uh, normal one without S uh, for HTTP to this uh, HTTPS and also try to enable 
the www to the uh, non www direction for example i enter this uh, right here it will try to redirect me to this uh, link right here so uh, also last one start the web server once all change has been performed okay so i agree this is what uh, my configurations are and just wait for it for a while all right so here uh, it's very quick um, right now uh, we need to provide the email address so i'm going to enter my email address all right enter that and uh, ask me to agree to let and create subscriber uh, agreement yes and now we try to uh, perform any necessary action to the uh, installation of the bitnami and it may take some time so just uh, be patient all right so uh, it seems to be successful right now and uh, let's just click enter to continue okay i think um, everything all done now let's just try uh, to see if we get the https the ssl certificate enable right here on the website so here this one uh, this is the previous one not secure let me try to refresh this all right here we go uh, as you can see right now we have the um, free certificate install the let encrypt certificate i can just click on this certificate to see the detail of that so here it's intended with the following and um, issue by let's encrypt and valid from this date which is today uh, 23rd of may up until to uh, this date right here so um right here we can see that uh, it's approximately three months time and then uh, it will automatically like renew and this is all the detail all right so um everything all good right now when you come to this uh web, my new website so honglitech.com you will see this uh information right here okay so i think um almost done but uh one more things that i'm gonna show you when i scroll down here you can see that there's like a bitnami logo right here so this is something that i don't actually want to have on my website when a user come to this website and then see this uh, all the time so um let's just try to hide this um uh, bitnami logo right here so now uh, i need to also go back to the right so here is the uh, document how to remove the bitnami banner when i try to scroll down you can see that here this is the command that we need to use and also right here for the name uh, app name uh, we will replace this to uh, wordpress now let's just do it all right so now let me just copy and here the app name i change it to uh, wordpress now let's just press enter okay so um you can see that the command right now it says not found now let's just uh, navigate to see uh, if um, this uh, folders actually exist bitnami and then um, see uh, right here so we are going to look for apps so cd apps and right here the wordpress folder see the wordpress again ls so um, you can see that there's no uh, bitnami uh, uh, bn configs it's only got the bn config dot disables so that is a reason why we can't actually run this it doesn't exist at all all right so the solution to this would be try to rename this back to the uh, bn config so this is the command right here uh, sudo mv and then this is the uh, bn config and i try to rename it to this uh, command so now let's just um, try to run the previous command again so it would be this one right here copy control c and then press control v All right and then uh, just enter it Cool, it seems to work fine right now. Um, what I need to do again, uh, here I need to restart the web server. So in this case, we are using the Apache. And uh, this is the command to restart that. Just copy it and uh, paste it right here. So now um, it tried to restart the server again. 
okay so it seems to work fine now let me just uh, go back to the website and see if the banner uh, has already been removed okay so here this is the one I refresh it all right so um, as you can see we have the banner successfully removed and um, if you have that issue it should be fine for now just a uh, reason is that the command not found because it tried so bitnami it changed the normal um, folder name uh, to uh, the uh, dot uh, disable so that the reason why we can't run it directly and we have to change the name to that uh, previous one okay so um we have already done removing this one and um, i think um we have learned a lot uh, basically in this tutorial we've done a lot of things starting from installing uh, this uh, onto the uh, google cloud using uh, and it's quite fast as well so let's say when i try to refresh this you can see um, the speed of the website it's, it's quite fast and uh, one last thing um, i'm going to also show you how to install and a plug in uh, for this one uh, the SSL so in case uh, say um, if you are going to try to import the existing template uh, from uh, say a plug in then uh, sometime the website or the the template it contain like uh, uh, the images that uh, it's not coming from the HTTP uh, the link so uh, we have to actually uh, try to uh, convert all the HTTP uh, image to HTTPS and to be able to do that we need to install one plugin now let me just go back to the uh, back end of the WordPress and then see uh, what else we can do so to log in I need to um, put like slash admin and then it redirect me to HTTPS as you can see right here and the username and also with my password right here this is the password and uh, remember okay so here we are inside the uh, dashboard and um, let me just go to the plugin try to see uh, what plugin is already installed right here so we have uh, all of this uh, plugins and then I'm going to install a new one which is here SSL alright so now let me try to search for SSL and then uh, we're going to install um, this one right here the really simple SSL so just click on this button to install this plugin and WordPress there are tons of plugins that we can actually uh, install it very easily now let's just uh, click on activate this uh, simple SSL um, right here the plugin and then uh, let me just uh, so right here you can see that um, the definition to the uh, site URL or the uh, home URL was detected by this and the file is not writable so you can see that after installing this uh, we have some issue with uh, the right to uh, basically like make some changes to the WP uh, config.php so we need to run uh, a command to do that as well to be able to uh, read and write um, the command to this plugin okay so now uh, let's just go back again and try to connect to the SSH okay so um, I can also clear uh, this as well so as seen here and I'm going to also paste a command um, right here so this is the command that what it does it try to allow the right access to the uh, WP config um, file dot uh, PHP right here so now let's just press on the enter all right um, it seemed to be successful now let's just uh, go back again and try to refresh this page and see if uh, we have this error already uh, fixed all right so here we can see that the uh, mirror, uh, the error message has now gone and uh, we just enable the right access to the uh, file the PHP file as uh, I showed you previously now let's just uh, go ahead and activate the SSL cool so now we have the SSL uh, activated and uh, whatever that um, the image or it can be like something else that the link that you put sometime uh, it can be like a, the HTTP uh, or maybe the the video that you try to import is HTTP then um, 
it will automatically try to uh, convert it into the HTTPS and now our own uh, website right here uh, it's fully uh, SSL enabled it's basically it fully uh, HTTPS right now all right now that uh, we have all uh, our website uh, set up so um, the next things that I'm gonna show you is uh, right now so when we try to go to this uh, website uh, honglitech.com you can see that the template the the default one that uh, it also reinstalled for us it's not looking that good uh, as you can see right here so um, to know what uh, the uh, theme that is using right now you can just go to the uh, appearance and then click on the themes so right here you can see that right now we are using the uh, 2020 themes the name uh, the theme name so uh, right now I just want to change a new one the new themes so I can just click on the add new themes and right here you can see that there's a lot of themes that we can install and now I'm gonna navigate to the uh, popular one so right here when I scroll down um, you can see that the Astra and then uh, there's a lot more like uh, these are very popular so say this one here the Ocean uh, WP so you can see how uh, the rating is quite good uh, 5 stars for more than like uh, 3000 uh, rating and there's a lot more you can see you can just uh, go here and then try to search for the one that you like so uh, in this tutorial I think I'm gonna use uh, when I try to install this one it's called Astra you can see this is like um, uh, very popular as well uh, like all of the rating and uh, this is the sample that we see so once we install it looks something like this and now let me just uh, install this one right here real quick alright so uh, let's just uh, activate this for now Cool, it's that simple. Uh, you can see that uh, it's actually right now we are using this uh, Astra themes. Now let me just go back and try to refresh this to see if we get something else that we uh, was expecting. Alright, so here you can see uh, this is what the um, website look like right now. Uh, just a few clicks then uh, we can see the themes completely change. And here this is the sample page and inside the content so here this is the sample page and then I can just click to go back and uh, right here it says welcome to my YouTube channel and this is the one that I created previously and a user can actually like uh, try to post comment here as well so that's uh, very simple and um, the thing I'm going to do I tr need to change this right here the users uh, block to uh, something else so to do that I need to go to the setting page general and right here the users uh, locks so I'm going to change this to Hongli tagged it's also changed here as well you can see and this is just the email and uh, for this one uh, we no longer need that we already changed uh, from HTTP to HTTPS so it should be fine and when I hover on that you can see it say just another web uh, WordPress site so right here um, I'm going to say it's like tutorial something yeah just for now okay so I'm gonna say tutorial and also with the uh, unboxing because um, my YouTube channel based on these two are uh, mainly so uh, should be good to go now let's just uh, save changes and now let's just go back and try to refresh that again alright so now you can see it change and also when I hover on that it, you can see that it says tutorials and unboxings and um, right now uh, the next one I just need to go to the um, plugin and then try to uh, basically install a new plugin uh, I'm going to show you a real quick uh, the other one so try to search for the Astra so Astra once you search that uh, you can see that here the plugin for this one it also got like the templates uh, the so let me just uh, click on this real quick and see uh, you can see that there's like tons of demo right here so I don't need to actually go to one by one I can just install this and try to import the demo for you to see uh, real quick to see um, like uh, what it can do with this uh, template so right now this one is very simple we need to do a lot of configuration if we're gonna start it from scratch but uh, with this plugin I can 
let me just go to the uh, plugin let me just uh, here it's right here just uh, click on the C library and now um, for this one right here I can just uh, it asks me to select the page builder I'm gonna go with the Elementor it's quite popular for this one alright so um, you can see there's a lot of uh, demo right here I don't actually need to start doing the configuration from scratch and I can just choose any template I want so let me just uh, look through all of this and then try to see which one that I'm going to uh, install just for a demo so there's a lot of um, template available right here um, you can see that the agency here uh, it means the premium one that we need to pay for and um, you can see they are looking very good so right now I'm going to go with the uh, free one I'm going to install this for free and let me just choose one template for now this is all about the garden maintenance and uh, we got like pet dentist and right here um, the other adventure I think I'm gonna go with this one right here uh, this is the learn dust Academy it all related to like uh, having courses and yep I think uh, this is good we can either import like just uh, the home page or uh, we can just like import like the whole uh, complete size so for this one this is like all courses this is about contact so um, I think for now let's just import like the complete site and here what it does it try to require like a premium uh, plugin so you need to purchase uh, install and then activate them first okay so um, I can just so this is for the learn dust it is like a plugin for uh, be able to like uh, connect it to the WooCommerce and the student basically they can just uh, the user can just pay for the cost and stuff so uh, the learn dust is quite popular plugin as well and let me see if I actually need to install this for now or maybe I can just try to import uh, just for the home page template so if I'm gonna do that uh, this doesn't require me to pay for the plugin just click on skip and edit so the uh, plug-in required for this one uh, just one the Elementor so for the others if I'm going to import like the whole or complete size so it may be able to require me to um, also install another or more plugins as well so uh, for this home page it's just one I'm going to import that and if there's like uh, multiple plugins it by just clicking on this uh, import button it will try to install all of the plugins at once so that's uh, the uh, feature of using this uh, right here th this plugin so let me just click on the view template it's imported successfully okay so as you can see uh, we have already successfully imported this template and you can see that this look a lot better compared to just uh, like the blank uh, template right here but for now this one it just uh, like sitting inside this URL it only just one page so if you want to see this page, you can just come to uh, this website, uh, the URL uh, page ID equal to 7, then you would be able to see this uh, page right here. Um, right now, we also have an option to add it with the Elementor as well. So say what happened when I click on the Hongli tag, it will uh, just navigate me to uh, this uh, front page with the uh, post that I previously created, and this is the existing one. and um, like I said, uh, I wouldn't like doing the configuration, like adding the menu right here to navigate or to click on that to see the page that you just seen with the import, uh, this one here. And um, I for this one, I can also uh, try to hide the sidebar to make it looking a lot better. And there's a lot more things that I can just uh, configure on this page. But for now, I think that's pretty much it uh, for this tutorial. And um, I think I 
I'm going to also edit this uh, post as well uh, to put like a link to my YouTube channel so one uh, people come to this page and they can just click on the link to uh, actually link to my YouTube channel and like I said there's a lot of uh, things to edit on this uh, website and this is just the first start okay so um, uh, we have already looked a lot into this tutorial we learned how to uh, deploy the WordPress onto the Google Cloud which is completely free if you use inside the uh, limitation that it gave uh, with the Google uh, itself and also we learn how to uh, connect to the uh, domain name uh, which is the in this case honglytech.com and also uh, we uh, try to install the free SSL as well uh, the uh, SSL certificate uh, right now and we install another plugin which uh, whatever that uh, say if I try to basically like uh, this one right here when I try to install this and then um, let me just open this one real quick and when I try to scroll down you can see that the image here so in this case uh, when I try to open this image uh, you can see um, Sometimes the, the image here it just linked to uh, HTTP. It's not like uh, getting this and stored into our database. It just linked to somewhere else. So uh, sometimes it's not going to show this as a completely free SSL. And that's a reason why we use that simple uh, really SSL uh, plugin to uh, try to convert everything from HTTP to HTTPS. And um, we also learn how to uh, try to change the template as you can see right here from the 2020 which is the previous one uh, which is this old one right here I will refresh this page and it try to uh, we change that template uh, to this one here the themes and now uh, we also look into how to uh, install like a uh, try to import the existing template uh, which is a lot uh, quicker and yep I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you learn how to uh, actually uh, doing all the stuff that I just mentioned and until then see you guys in the next video